Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my uh, Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we are just welcoming you and wishing you a happy Friday. Oh my gosh, everybody loves Fridays, don't they? We all love Fridays. And I'm going to check my uh, computer here and make sure that we're live. There we go. Okay, this is a good thing that we're live. And um, I'm not seeing it moving, so this is not good. There we go. Okay. Welcome, welcome. And you know what I discovered a few minutes ago? Today is 4-22-22. Did you know that? Some of you, I know when I was working, I used to know a lot more, um, be much more, you know, with it, with those things. But today, I just a while ago, I looked down and it was 4-22-22, so that's kind of neat. Um, anyway, welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you're here today. We are going to have a lot of fun. And, it, you know, last Friday we didn't meet because it was Good Friday, so I haven't seen you for two weeks so I'm very happy to see my Friday people. And I actually have a special prize that I'm gonna um, to show you at the end um, for today because it goes with what we're doing today. But let's get into just a few announcements. Kay, good to see you from North Carolina. Diane, yes, we're ready for a nice restful weekend. Really excited about my weekend, and I'm putting together my, I'm finishing up my faith classes, and those will go out Monday. So I am doing a little bit of, I, I'm doing a little bit of work tomorrow, especially to get those ready to get in the mail on Monday. They're almost ready, almost ready, those classes to go. Okay, so news um, last chance sale next week. Hello, baby. Next uh, Saturday is the last day for the last chance sale, and that is the retiring catalog items, the retiring annual catalog items. And so there's a lot has sold out, but there are still some really great things in there. And pop over and see what you can get if it's something you really want. Um, make sure to take advantage of that. And by the way, when you're shopping in my online store, be sure to use my um, host code. This is my April host code. Every month I have a new one. And if you put it in right when you start your order, it says it has a blank for host code. You put that host code in there and that will get you a free prize from me. And this month the prize is a brand new bone folder. So if you shop from me, be sure you put my host code in. And it's always on the right hand side of my blog, my front blog page. So you can always find that month's host code right there. So let's see what else. Oh, the new catalog. Okay, here is the new catalog. You know, I can't show you the inside. I can only show you the uh, front. And this is our beautiful new annual catalog that's going live on May 3rd. And oh boy, the things in this catalog are so beautiful. I'm working with them more and more. We could only order a certain, hi, oh, Anne, good to see you. Um, we could only order a certain number of things, just they have a selection that as demonstrators we could pre-order, but I am having so much fun with those. And I showed something on Wednesday and today we're gonna use the in colors. And the in colors are gorgeous. So get ready for May 3rd, live to customers. If you need a catalog, email me. Peggy at prettypapercards.com because I want everyone to have one of these gorgeous catalogs. If you don't have another demonstrator, email me and I will be your demonstrator and I will send you a catalog. My customers already have theirs. They've had them for a week or so now and they've been perusing them. Big word. Okay, um, shares. I want to talk to you about my shares. Product shares that we do with the new catalog. Are you ready to get down, baby? Okay, I'm going to put her down, and she's. I had to wake her up to um, get on live. So I'm going to, now that she's down, she can finish her nap. Okay, product shares. A product share is a, a little uh, share of a, no, of a large size something else. So like with the, the designer series papers, 12 by 12, I split them up 
four ways, cut them six by six, and you get one share of that full package of designer series papers. There are 12 designers, brand new designer series papers, and one share um, of all those 12 is 144 sheets, six by six sheets. I mean, it's big this time. And one share is $50. That's what um, the price is for me for one share. What happens is you tell me, email me, Peggy at Pretty Paper Cards, and tell me that you want a share of the, of the um, designer series paper, and I will send you an invoice on April 26th. And then on May 3rd, I order everything. It comes to me, I cut it all up, and I send it out to you. So there is a lag time, but that's because I can't order until May 23rd, a big bunch like that. So that is the designer series paper share. Now I'm going to turn you down because I want you to see my uh, in color share. This is another share that you can get from me. So let me turn you down here. Here we go. Okay, so this is the in color share. I didn't really get that quite straightened, did I? Okay, that looks a little better. And we're going to use the in colors today, and here they are. We're going to do a little quiz for me and see if I can say them. Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, and Orchid Oasis. Those are the colors. Aren't they bright and beautiful? I love them. And here's what you will get if you get an in color share from me. I usually do ribbon shares, but this time I decided to do an in color share. And I'll tell you why. It's because I know that a lot of you don't, I get all the colors. I get, a, I get the ink pads, I get a full pack of all the papers. I get it all because I have to use it. But I know that you necessarily don't. And I want you to see these beautiful colors. So I'm not giving you any ink in this share, but I'm giving you bits of paper and other things so that you can really experience the new in colors and then you can spend your money to get like the pads an ink pad if you like a particular color so one thing I'm gonna send you as part of your in color share is these beautiful 2022 to 24 um, in color matte decorative dots and I'm gonna use them on our project today and you're going to get um, some sh some six by six sheets of the of the five in new in colors here they are and this is what it'll look like when you get it you're going to get one of each of the new in color glimmer papers they come full size and i cut them down i think are they might some things come six by six i kind of forget aren't these beautiful so you'll get a taste of the glimmer paper it's like a sampler you know it's like getting a sampler at a restaurant where you get to sample a lot of different foods this is a sampler of the new in colors and this is the in color designer series paper um, different patterns and you're going to get um, I think four sheets or two let me just see I have it all written down here um, uh, you get two of each color in your sampler and the sampler uh, the in color share is $35 and look at those pretty colors and those pretty designs and papers look at that and then you're going to get one of every in color of these darling um, cards and notebooks and these are real uh, notebooks cards and envelopes so here's a card and here's the darling envelope that goes with it and it's these are made in the in colors I love these they're called um, they're from the T boutique suite but I want you to have one of each color because they're so cute look at how cute these are and then one package of the matte dots so that's only $35 to get this in color sampler if you like it it's 35 um, $35 just email me hi Lori good to see you email me um, Peggy at prettypapercards.com that you want the in color sampler and if you want both the in color sampler and the designer series paper um, share it's eighty dollars and I'm calling that I want it all you get it you get a break you get a five dollar discount for that and the shipping is included on all of those okay so what is our project for today 
you know, um, I wanted to mention the mini, what I call the spring mini catalog, January to June 2022. This is not retiring. This goes all the way until June 30th. And so we're going to work with, and I can open this one because it's already live. We're going to work with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle today. You know, I started looking through this catalog and I thought, I haven't used some of these sets that I like so much. This is on page 18. And so we're going to make today a cute little uh, treat box like that. And we're going to make this cute little rainbow card using the uh, Rainbow of Happiness uh, bundle. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's get started. Now, um, oh, I want to show you the in color inks, all but one. We're going to use all but one of the in colors today. Here they are. And so you'll get to see them used live and in person. And here are my supplies for my card. I decided to put them all in a little in one in the envelope, and that way I won't lose them because sometimes I lose them. Now we're going to start with a piece of this gold. Um, striped paper and you know I meant to get the name of it because I love this paper and let me see this is the back of the catalog here it is abstract beauty is this paper it comes four by six and look at all these gorgeous papers I've hardly even used it I don't know why because it has pink and gold and I love it I don't know what's wrong with me but we're gonna use this as our background just because um, I wanted to use some of this pretty paper. So we're going to start with a standard card base, um, eight and a half by um, five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And we're just going to burnish that score line. And then we need to cut this. This paper comes in a four by six. And so we need to cut it down to, um, it comes, wait a minute, four by six? Yes, so that's, we want it four by five and a quarter. So we just need to cut one side just like that so that it fits. It's much, it's really convenient, it really is. So here's our card base. I always need to make sure I'm going right side up. And this is gonna be our background. And I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do with this? I am going to put it on with my Stamp and Seal Plus. And I'll tell you why, because this is a little hint for you, Marsha. Good to see you today. Um, foil shows glue underneath. You can see the glue lines and the gold foil in there would show the glue lines. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus and just run it down each side. And with this one, you just gently lift up and it usually works just like that. So I'm just going to Instead of the glue this time, you know I love my multi-purpose glue. Uh-oh, sometimes that happens. But we're just gonna, oops. Okay, I think we've got enough on there. It's, sometimes it grabs it, especially with these different papers like the foil. It'll snap it up because the foil is so delicate. Okay, there we go, there's our background. And now we want to make our rainbow. And this is the, I wanted to show you the stamp set in case you haven't seen the stamp set. The Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. And it comes with, part of the bundle is the Brilliant Rainbow dies. And there are so many great dies in here. We are going to use today this edging border die. I just love it. Let's put it like that. I've used it before and it makes such a beautiful border. I just, I love it. Okay, so but the first thing we're going to do is make rainbows and we're going to make a rainbow both for our package because we're making a, decorating a box, um, a treat box, and we're going to make it for our card. So we're going to start. These stamps come in graduated sizes. So here is um, I don't know if you can see that on the clear block. There's one, and they just go down from there. And so I've got them all out here 
all my different rainbow stamps already mounted on their blocks. Now an interesting thing is that one of the rainbows has words, and I'm going to use this one, sending you a rainbow of happiness. I think that's so cute. It's a sentiment basically put into the rainbow. And I just, and I really like that. I'm only going to use that on the one for the card front, on the rainbow for the card front. So let's start out with our, we'll start with Tahitian Tide for our largest rainbow. And I've put this on the larger block. It's an E block so that it fits on, on there. It was just a little bit too big for the D block. So here's our Tahitian Tide. And I'm gonna get it, the rainbow, pretty close to the edge of the paper, okay? Just like that. These new pads are very juicy. They've got lots of pretty ink. And I think I'll do the same thing We'll do the same thing for our second rainbow that's going to go on our gift package. This is really very forgiving. If it was if it was real intricate and we had to be very careful, I would have set it up on the um, Stamparatus, but it's not like that. It's really easy to stamp. Um, it's you know you can tell it's not perfect, perfect. It's in a it's in a way like a little bit of a. Um, it's just fun, just a fun rainbow. So now we'll go back to the one, they're identical, I don't know why I did that, but um, the one for the card front and we're gonna stamp our sentiment rainbow here. So let's just, all you do is, because it's the photopolymer stamps, it's real easy, you just uh, put it right up next to the other one. Look at that, isn't that cute? I'll hold it up close to you so that you can see sending you a rainbow of happiness. I just love that. I think that's so cute. And for the one that goes on the package, I'm just gonna use the plain rainbow uh, without the words, but is that same size, okay? So we just move it right up in there. Look how easy that is. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next color, which is gonna be Orchid Oasis. And we're just, we're just making rainbows here, having fun. And I think it's good because when we do this, you can really see the in colors really live, if you know what I mean. See them, see the ink, see the papers. Okay, so here's our Orchid Oasis. Look how easy that was. And it has a, it, it'll give a different look here because it's coming under the words. Isn't that cute? I, I never knew I would enjoy making rainbows so much. Okay. And here's our, this is really my favorite color so far. I keep saying that. <clears throat> my parakeet party ink. And that one goes right in there inside. Isn't that just fun? Now I'm going to go ahead and give away a little secret because I was thinking, I remember the rainbow paper during celebration. We had rainbow paper that went right along with this rainbow, coordinated with this rainbow bundle. And I went in my cupboard and dug out some of this rainbow paper. So this is gonna be the prize uh, for today. So if you want some of this rainbow paper, go ahead and put the word prize in the comments, either on YouTube or on Facebook, and I will draw and I'll award it next Friday, which will be the 29th. And it just seems right to give away some rainbow paper when we're making rainbows, don't you think? I do. I think that just seems, it just seems right. Okay, so we've got both of our rainbows. Now the one last thing we're going to do Part of the rainbow, this rainbow stamp set, it has some really cute little teeny tiny hearts. And I thought we'd put some little hearts right inside that rainbow. Now I have to look and see what direction they face. They're so tiny. Okay, so we're just gonna put them right in there. Look at that. Look how cute that is. 
<laughs> it's a whimsical. That's the word I was looking for earlier. It's a little whimsical rainbow set. I just think that's adorable. So there's our, rain our two rainbows. Okay, now there is not a die that cuts out the rainbows. The dies in the set make their own rainbows, okay, from your own other cardstock. They, there isn't a die that I could figure out that cut this exactly. So that's why I went ahead and put it near the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut. Now you don't have to if you wanted to. Here's our sample. And if you wanted to just um, put, put it in the form of another piece of paper right on here like that, and put the border underneath and the clouds around, you could certainly do that and there wouldn't be, it, nobody, you know, I mean, it would look just wonderful. But I don't really mind fussy cutting and here I'm just gonna leave about an eighth of an inch all around. It's, it's a quick little zip around. But I've given you a way not to do it. Similar with those of you who don't like bows, I usually show an alternative to making a bow like making a knot or just a straight piece of ribbon. And look at that, already number one is cut out. That's the one for the front of the card. And we'll cut out number two. This is the one for our package. And it's just, it's just not hard. If you have grandchildren, they could probably do it for you. Especially older grandchildren. I don't know about the little ones. But this stamp set would make darling cards for uh, for children. Just darling cards for children. Okay, let's set that aside. Aren't those cute? Aren't those just darling? Hi, Anne. Prize, thank you, yes. Prizes are fun. Okay, so let's go back to our card front. And We'll focus on the, the rainbow that goes on the card front like this. Now, we're going to put, I went ahead and pre-cut that border out of the Tahitian Tide um, cardstock because I didn't want to take the time here because we're making two things. So what I'm gonna do is just um, glue, and we can glue on top of foil, just it doesn't look very good under. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down um, the, the rainbow. And it doesn't take a lot, you don't, want, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. Well, that's even a bit too much. And we just wanna center that in our, on our card, leaving a little bit of room for our um, border. The glue snuck out there, okay. And I've pre-cut the border. The border die is six inches long, but our paper here is five and a quarter, so I went ahead and cut the edges. And now we're just gonna put a very thin line of glue right on here. Very, very thin. Just like that. It's gonna stick perfectly. And we're just barely gonna cover the bottom of the rainbow. Maybe we'll move it up just a little bit. And it works just perfectly. Isn't that cute? I think I really love these colors against the gold. I think it's really pretty. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm glad, um, I'm glad to be able to give you a tip. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a couple of clouds and we're gonna use the cloud punch that is also available in that, um, it's from the spring mini catalog. And I've got some extra white paper here. I think I have way too much, but we're gonna just punch two clouds out of here. I mean, it just seems like you see clouds with a rainbow, don't you think? I do, I, I just, the, and actually the dies, let me show you. The dies, uh, the Brilliant Rainbow dies, they have little clouds. I just decided to use the punch today. I like punches, don't you? I, I just do, I really like punches. So we're just gonna put one cloud right up here, kind of like that. And I think we'll put this one on a dimensional or two, 
just to get a little bit of dimension. Now I could have, um, I don't know, I could have colored the cloud or um, blended it with the blending brush, something like that. But I just think the rainbow is so pretty, it really just stands on its own. So I'm just going to do that. And then for this cloud, I want to have it coming out from, I want to have it coming out from the rainbow a bit. So what I'm going to do is just trim it a bit and see if we can just tuck it barely under there. Okay, let's see. I want to get it all the way, I want to get it further in. Okay, I think I'm going to trim a bit more. Of course, I know what you're saying, Peggy. Why didn't you think of this before you glued the rainbow down? And certainly I could have. I just didn't. I don't know why. Because this is how I did it the last time. You know how you do that? Well, I did it that way the last time. Okay, so now we're just going to push that little cloud under there. Let's see if we can push it a little bit more. There we go. Now it's just coming right out from behind the rainbow. I kind of like that. Oh, glitter paper. And I love it. I could have used some of that glimmer paper that's the Tahitian Tide color. Oh my gosh, you've given me a fabulous idea. Thank you so much. I love that idea. So basically, here is our, is our card. And the last thing we want to do is put on some of these in-color matte dots. Look at those dots. I mean, I've already gotten as many as I can get from the pre-order. They have a limit of how many you can get. And I've already gotten as many as I can get. Um, but as soon as I can order more, I'm going to on May 3rd. I really am because I just love these dots. I think they're fabulous. And they're kind of graduated in color. Can you see they're darker and they move to lighter? So we're going to be able to really use these. Um, so I am going to put just a couple of the Tahitian little Tahitian Tide um, matte dots on here. I usually use my scissors and I decided to um, start using my um, Take Your Pick tool and it's working pretty well. And then I'm going to take one of the uh, Sweet Sorbet ones and put it right down there. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Now I'll show you what I'm going to do to the envelope and um, to the inside of the card. So here's our envelope. And we always have to put something on the inside of the card in the envelope, right? So we are going to put like a half of the rainbow. We're going to go ahead and put um, the Orchid Oasis and the Parakeet Party stamps there. Those are the smaller ones. Let me find them. I've got them all buried in here. Uh, yeah. Once I use them, I kind of move things around. So we're just going to stamp, we're going to do like a little mini rainbow in the corner here. Just like that. And let me get out my Parakeet Party ink. And let's move this over here. We'll just put this right inside, like that. Don't you think that's kind of cute in the corner? And we're going to put some of those hearts in, but first I'll go ahead and do the, um, the envelope. And we'll just repeat the same thing on the left side of the envelope, just like this. Hi, Linda. Prize, I know. We would everybody would want that rainbow paper if you didn't get it during celebration especially <clears throat> you're going to want the rainbow paper and i usually end up getting several of these things so the celebration items so i have extras to give away to you all righty let's put some of those adorable little hearts in inside here let's get this straight okay I'm just going to be using these hearts. You know, I have used them already on other things. So there's our envelope. And let's go back to the inside of the card and put the little hearts inside there. I think it just really finishes it off. Isn't that just cute? 
you know, my problem is I'm, I just have so much fun and I am in love with all of the products and how, how easy they make it to make a darling card. You know, that was not that hard, was it? It didn't take us long at all. Now let's work on our package. So the gift packaging that I'm using today, because I think it's nice to give a gift of a card with, to give a card with a gift. Okay, so I am using the Scalloped Craft Treat Boxes, and these are continuing in the new catalog, I wanna let you know. And they are just so pretty. Do you see the gold dots? I just love the gold dots. So we're gonna just put this, they're easy peasy to put together. You don't even really need to use your um, bone folder. You could, but you can just actually press these things, the, the um, scored lines you can just press with your finger. This is the bottom of it, and you just, let me fold that one, put it so you can see. So, this is what it looks like before you put it together, the bottom, okay, just like that. And you fold the sides in, and the top, well, actually it's the bottom of the box, down and put it in like that. And there's the bottom of your box. Now, when I am going to give, I'm gonna put treats in here, I'm gonna put tissue paper in there or some um, shreddy to make it nice. I would not give just the empty box like that with, with candy or whatever. I'm definitely going to give, um, put some nice shreddy in there or something. And so again, this is the top of the box and it works exactly the same way. And it has the scalloped edges down here, which I really like. So you just put the two sides in. Let me see, I thought I folded it. Okay, one, two, and put your top down. Put your top down. It sounds like putting the trunk of the car down. And here's the top of your, your little box. It goes together so quick, and let me see how many you get in a package. Um, you get eight in a package. I'm not sure how much they are. I don't think it's too much. It's like somewhere between 10 and 15. I think this is such a darling, a darling box. I really like it. It's kind of elegant, but we're making it fun today. So I cut another little border piece to go on our rainbow. I'm just going to slip a little grid paper under there before I glue it. We're just going to do exactly what we did with our card. We're just going to glue that little border right onto the base of the rainbow. Just like that. I'll just hold it for a few minutes and make sure it sticks down. And then we are going to do something fun. Linda, yes, it is a sweet box. It really is. Let's just see a little bit of glue's coming up there. Okay. So we are now going to do something a little bit fun. And what we're going to do is we are going to use some of this gold twine. Um, I want to say, I didn't check beforehand, but I think it's called Simply Elegant. And it comes in a package with silver and gold. And what I'm going to do is put some more of this Stampin' Seal Plus. It comes with a little, this is a brand new one. And it has a little lid on it. There we go. And I'm just going to put some Stampin' Seal Plus all along there. Let me get it up where you can see it. And this is going to be what we attach our cord to. Because we're going to do kind of a wild thing. I know some of you like to be really neat and you don't like to do little wild things like tear paper and stuff like that but i don't know i like to i like to do i like to have little i don't know i like to do more fun uh, things a little bit wild so what i want to do is get some of this twine just like this to come out from the top of our rainbow so do you see how I did that? I just set the twine down the way I wanted and then I put my rainbow right on top and because the rainbow has the Stampin' Seal Plus, the twine is 
is just sticking right where I wanted it to. Kind of really arbitrary, but fun. It is a little hard to see, isn't it? Let me bring that up. Let me see, maybe you can see it better on the envelope. Can you see that twine? Isn't that cute? Hi, Diana. This is live, this isn't a replay. You're actually getting me live. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready. Here's our box and we're ready to put our rainbow right on top of the box. And to do this, whoops, I am going to use, it would stick some with the Stampin' Seal Plus, but actually I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on there. They will additionally help, whoops, they will additionally help the um, rainbow stick on there and also help the cord to stay in place, just like that. So I think four ought to be good. And let's pull that off. I guess that's already sticky. And just put this at an angle on top of your box, just like that. And now you have your, <clears throat> your fun rainbow box and your card. All one project. Isn't that cute? I really like this, this little gift, double gift little packaging and card. I think it's really, <laughs> Diana, you deserve an award <laughs> for getting, the, getting here on the live. I think this is really cute. It's, let me just hold the card near the package and maybe you can see it a little bit better. Um, I think it's like a little party happening and I love this rainbow. I hope you, um, there's, I think there's plenty in stock. I checked right before I came on and there was no indication of, um, you know, any back order or any such thing um, because this is from the catalog that goes until June 30th. So there is our little fun project for today, the Rainbow of Happiness Bundle. Let me go ahead and come back now because we're going to award our prize. And the prize from, remember I said we missed last week because um, it was Good Friday. And so um, the Power of Hope is the stamp set that I gave away, that I'm giving away today from the 8th. I believe it's um, Friday the 8th of April. And the winner of the Power of Hope stamp set is uh, from YouTube, Sue LeBlanc. So Sue, I know I don't have your address and I really need you to send me your address or I can't give you this, I can't send you the stamp set because I won't know where to send it. So Sue LeBlanc, and I'll try to contact you over on YouTube. This is a really pretty stamp set. I hope that you get your address to me. Otherwise I'll have to put it back in the, in the pot, you know. And for next time, like I promised, the Rainbow, Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper, it's a package from Celebration, and it's because, I'm giving it because we made rainbows today. I'm trying to get the glare off of it for you. So if you want this package of the Sunshine and Rainbows paper, put prize on in a comment on YouTube or on Facebook, and I'll... Um, we'll award this next week, which will be the 29th, the last Friday in April. And it'll be right before the new catalog. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And if you want either of my shares, the Designer Series Paper Share or the um, In Color Share, be sure you email me, Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and let me know. Uh, the last day to say that you want it is May 2nd. Um, and if you've already reserved a share, your invoice will start going out on the 26th of April. So thank you guys. 